Hello, you absolute legends. It ain't what you do, it's the way that you do it. Nothing better describes the art of freestyle in the eSport Rocket League. The standard aim of Rocket League is simple. Put the ball into the opposing goal more times than your opponent. If your score is higher, you win. The indie developer Psyonix's 2015 release became a surprise sensation and has developed into one of the biggest esports in the world. What makes Rocket League so appealing, so popular, and so fun is the incredibly responsive controls and depth of mechanics. Still to this day, players are developing and perfecting new techniques, new plays, and new ways to get the upper hand. The skill ceiling is extremely high, and the way the professionals fly around the arena with such precision and grace is astounding. When a game like Rocket League has such great mechanics, it lends itself to offshoots being spawned. The internet is abound with custom courses and maps that are not only used to practice core mechanics, but also to speedrun as well. The movement in Rocket League is so interesting that it has created entire subgenres of competition, which aren't just about how many goals you can score. And the biggest offshoot is freestyle. Freestyling in Rocket League is a rather broad subject, but the crux of it is all about scoring goals in the most interesting, entertaining, and difficult ways. It's an art form, it's a display of skill, and it's a celebration of the thousands of hours a player has put into honing their abilities. Over the past several years, freestyle has gained in popularity, with Psyonix themselves hosting massive tournaments with grand prizes of up to $50,000. And over the past year, there was one particular player that started getting a lot of attention, a freestyler who went by the name Shimmy. Shimmy was always a pretty decent freestyler. In 2020, his clips were even featured on the channel Rocket League FX. In 2021, he started posting montages to his own YouTube channel that were good, but nothing too crazy. Then, in late 2021, Shimmy became insane. Not only executing shots that were world class, but even pioneering techniques and tricks that no one had ever seen at this level. Shimmy had become a god. He had sold his soul to the devil in exchange for inhumane freestyling abilities. But alas, it was all a lie. Shimmy had been faking his freestyle tricks in a way never seen before. Not only was he prolific, but he was cunning and creative in his deception. In this video, we are going to take a look at how Shimmy fooled the Rocket League freestyle community for almost an entire year, and how he was ultimately caught. I really hope you enjoy. Now Legends, this video is sponsored by the military online game War Thunder. And when it comes to vehicle combat games, War Thunder is the most comprehensive ever made. We are talking over 2,000 unique tanks, planes, helicopters, and ships battling it out in intense PvP battles. All of the vehicles are extremely detailed, with each individual component handcrafted to make it as real and immersive as possible. The vehicles in War Thunder span over 100 years of development, so if you're into history, you can have fun and learn at the same time. War War Thunder offers insane graphics at 4K resolution, and the sound effects seem very realistic. Personally, I love how intense combat is. Flying through the sky with countless anti-aircraft shells whizzing past, trying to outmaneuver enemy planes is pretty epic. And what's even more epic is that War Thunder is free to play, and is available on PC, Xbox, and PlayStation. And if you use my link in the description, there is a large free bonus pack waiting for you, which includes multiple premium vehicles, a premium account, boosters, and much more. When it comes to live competition like we see in Rocket League tournaments or online play, it's very hard to cheat in real time. In fact, it's basically unheard of. You can't hack the game to get an advantage over someone else when you play, or at least a way hasn't been figured out yet. However, when it comes to editing clips after the fact or recording something in secret, that's a completely different story. This definitely lends itself to foul play. And it had been seen before. A good example is the player DLG, who in 2020 claimed a new world record for the amount of chained flip resets. A flip reset is where you turn your car upside down and let the ball hit all four wheels at the same time. This resets your jump flag, which lets you jump again without needing to land on the ground. DLG claimed 14 flip resets in a row. 
but there was something strange about his video. On the bottom right is the boost meter, and the word boost is constantly flashing. It always flashes at the same speed for everyone, but in DLG's video, it was flashing way faster. Ultimately, it was discovered this was because DLG used a mod to play in slow motion, obviously making it easier. The timer and the physics were slowed down to half speed, but the speed at which the boost was flashing remained the same. Then, when DLG sped up the footage using a video editor, everything looked normal except for the flashing boost, which now flashed at twice the normal speed. In 2021, Shimmy was already considered a pretty decent freestyle clip hitter. Nothing crazy, nothing world class, but a pretty good mid-tier player. At least according to the montages he would post on his YouTube channel, which he would upload every few months. But then, in December of 2021, Shimmy became possessed, and took things to the next level in a montage he uploaded called Find My Way. Shimmy's shots were no longer just pretty good, they were top tier, and he started to introduce a tricky maneuver called Reverse Cam. This is where he would put the car into reverse and turn the camera so he couldn't even see the ball when he made the shot. Now at first glance, this just seems impossible, but experienced Rocket League players are exceptionally good at reading where the ball's trajectory is heading. So this kind of thing isn't completely out of the question. Shimmy's clips were so good that he was even invited onto the freestyle team Redshift, and as 2022 progressed, he released more montages, each one getting progressively more insane. Shimmy's shots were amazing, and the camera work was stunning. He would seamlessly switch between ball cam and reverse cam to produce beautiful looking goals. And not only was his camera work great and his precision immaculate, but the ball speed he could generate was epic. And in freestyle, a more powerful shot is something everyone strives for. The footage was so good that some YouTube commenters started claiming it was fake. Make no mistake though, YouTube comments mean nothing. Speedrunners get these kinds of comments every day. But Shimmy's montage in August of 2022 was so good that it even raised the eyebrows of a fellow teammate named Taku. Taku was also an incredible freestyler in their own right, who had even competed in live freestyle tournaments. Taku isn't just some random YouTube commenter. They are legit, and they noticed something interesting about a shot in Shimmy's latest montage. So they reached out to Shimmy and asked for the replay file so they could get a good look at it. Shimmy initially delayed, which is not a big deal in of itself. It does happen. Maybe he really was cooking up a four-course cuisine, and it really did take one and a half hours to make food. But eventually, he sent the replay, and it crashed Taku's game. They couldn't watch it or even open it. Shimmy couldn't explain it. It was working fine when he made his montage, but now it's just not working. At this point, Taku's ears perked up and they became genuinely suspicious. So what had Taku seen in this clip that made them want to see the replay? Well, the problem is that for several frames before the goal is scored, you could see the wide open net, but the ball was nowhere to be found. Shimmy was using a lot of blur in post-production, but still, you can clearly see that there is no ball entering the net. And when Shimmy couldn't even provide a functioning replay, this was a huge red flag. So Taku began digging, and they also reached out to the leader of their team, Nitro Drift. And after a two-week investigation, what they uncovered was astonishing. Shimmy had been faking almost everything. He had been directly altering the code of replays to show things that simply never happened. Taku and Nitro Drift created an entire Discord server outlining their findings, and there were a lot of smoking guns. Even without delving into the hidden values of the game, just visually, things weren't right. For example, when you score, if you're close enough to the net, you get pushed back by the explosion. The direction you get pushed back is based on your car's placement relative to where the ball hits the goal. It's pretty straightforward. But in many shimmy clips, he would get knocked back in weird directions directions that didn't make sense. This is because the replays in Rocket League save positions, and they don't recreate physics. And what Shimmy was doing is altering the ball's position to increase its speed and change its trajectory, so it went faster and placed higher into the net. Basically, he just made it look better than it did in real life. 
but then he didn't alter the car's position during the knockback, so it wasn't consistent with the goal. What's funny though, is that when confronted about this, Shimmy tried to cover it up. When asked for a particular replay due to the weird knockback, what he sent was very strange. In the replay Shimmy provided, the car seemed to change direction during the knockback, which just doesn't happen. However, Shimmy was in a difficult position because he had already shown the clip in his montage, which contained some of the knockback. So if he altered what was already shown, it would give the game away. So he kept that portion the same, but the knockback after the footage ended, he altered to change its direction. It makes no logical sense, but Shimmy was scrambling to find a solution to this insurmountable problem. One thing that's great about using fancy camera work and not looking at the ball is that you can do whatever you like with the ball and no one would know. Unless, of course, they had the replay. In this clip, Shimmy performs an amazing double tap off the back wall, and you don't really see where the ball goes. In fact, in the frame or two before the explosion happens, you do see the net where the ball should be, but again, the ball is nowhere to be seen. Once again, Shimmy was asked for the replay, which, after a small delay, he provided. But unbeknownst to Shimmy, this was a ruse. For you see, through a mutual friend whom Shimmy had given the replay to months ago, they had already acquired their own copy. This was just a test to see if he would scramble to make it more believable now that they were asking him directly for the replay. In the secretly acquired replay, using a third-person perspective, the ball trajectory was very strange. It sped up, slowed down, and sped up again, and randomly zipped away from the goal before the explosion occurred. I guess Shimmy didn't want you to see where the ball really was, so he just made it zip out of sight and didn't think anyone would notice because it all happened so quickly. But in the newly acquired replay that Shimmy did provide after being asked, the ball trajectory now looked much more realistic. And now, you could actually see the ball before the goal is scored. It was where it was supposed to be. Shimmy had once again scrambled to make the replay more believable before sending it. There were many more visual inconsistencies, but at the end of the day, that's all they were. And while they are definitely proof enough to convict Shimmy of altering replays, the killing blow came with accessing the game's hidden values. For this, Taku and Nitro enlisted the help of the modder, Martin N, who built a tool that could show the ball's speed. Normally when a ball is struck, it will slow down in the air due to friction. And this is how the ball normally behaves in Shimmy's replays. However, when he would make the final shot at goal, the speed of the ball would peak and remain constant until hitting the net. This is literally impossible, and isn't how the game works at all. This was hard proof that Shimmy was altering the data and inputting the ball speed each frame to make it go faster than it otherwise would. After their investigation, Taku and Nitro released all of their findings on August 28, 2022, and removed Shimmy from the Redshift team. And one day later, Shimmy confessed. Ultimately, Shimmy had been cheating in a way never seen before. Shimmy was a programmer who was able to get inside the game's code and change specific values. Essentially, he could make whatever he wanted to happen, happen. And if he took more time and care with his work, there might not have been any way to detect what he had done. Shimmy even faked the fact that he was playing against real people. In many clips, he would play against himself and then edit the code to make it look like he was versing people online. People try to fake freestyle clips all the time, but Shimmy is the first case where someone was able to really fool the community for a really long time. It's situations like this that birth better detection methods, and now players have a much better idea about what to look for when they spot something that isn't quite right. What's funny is that while this situation is novel and new to Rocket League, it's been happening in speedrunning for decades. The unfortunate truth is that if someone is allowed to make attempts out of sight and then simply produce the video footage or replay later, someone is going to try to fake it. It's only a small minority of people, but it's still almost a certainty. And it's a lesson that the Rocket League freestyle community has learned the hard way. Now, a huge thanks to Taku and Nitro for not only uncovering Shimmy's deception, but also having a chat with me about the situation. Please go and support them both by subscribing to their YouTube channels and checking out some of their montages. Also, a big shout out to Rocket Sledge, who makes really interesting and informative Rocket League videos, so check him out as well. 
Also, once again, use the link in the description to download and play War Thunder. It's free, it's fun, and it's awesome. Plus, using my link will get you a bunch of free bonus goodies, so definitely click the link and check it out. As always, thank you so much for watching, you legends. I hope you are having a fantastic day, and I will see you in the next video.